Hey everyone, it's me, Crystal, and I'm here with yet another food review and other things. Today, I have two other things. They're going to introduce themselves right now. I'm LJ, LeJean Witherspoon. It's nice to be here. I, I love Crystal. I love everything about what she does. She's hilarious. She's awesome. And it's a pleasure to be here with Crystal and Harry. And he didn't mention the fact that he's a famous rock band <laughs> man. I happen to be in a band <laughs> called Seven Dust, the lead singer, and I'm also a husband and a father. So that's just three of the things that I do. And then, of course, we got old we got regular. Harry in the cup. What up? What up? Shot Town in the hell. I'm, I'm in the back. That. Now ready, we're getting ready to eat some food. We have not prepped this at all. We don't know what we're getting, but we're at his choice, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. In a town I've never been into, too. So this, I don't know these parts around here. So it looks a little shady, but it's cool. Well, I got to put it in reverse. All right. Now, as you can see, we're three. Uh, let's see. How do we say this? People are probably thinking, how did this this trio happen? Three amigos. Oh no! It can't be, oh Lord! It can't be three amigos. It's, it can only it's two amigos and a senorita. Right? Yeah. All right. That's two it. amigos and a bonita senorita. Bonita senorita. In the noche, go. but it's the daytime. So. The daytime, yeah. <laughs> okay. In the noche. <laughs> in La Mañana. <laughs> we're eating Taco Bell at 10:30 in the morning. That's the first problem we're having. And babe. I've got a show today, so that you know what that means tonight. That means good times. That means shit. <laughs> Let's be honest. We it depends on how much Taco Bell you eat, right? It's the timing. I feel like if you eat it late, late at night, that's when it's bad. <laughs> but if you eat it during the day, it has a, it, it has a, a, you know, it just goes through normally, and it doesn't really mess you up. Does yeah, that make and, sense? yeah. Because it's at night time, you go to sleep, you eat, go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Your body's still moving throughout the day. There so you go. Like, yeah, so it's just normal. I got to go to the bathroom. Well, I'm right. glad that happens for y'all. This <laughs> does not happen for me. <laughs> All right. This is the hard part. You know I can't stand ordering for more than one person. But I got to get me in here more. My beautiful hair is just it's not in there. The hair, too. All right. So we got... Can you see that Cinnabon steaming? It is steaming hot. I've never seen anything like that. Taco Bell has taken it up. Oh, wow. They just take it up a notch. I mean, that's... What is that even called? 3D imposing? That's some straight that's... up CGI. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much CGI. <laughs> that's some straight up CGI. I mean... Hello, is anyone in there? Uh, why do they have the mess? Oh, hi, how are you? Good. Sorry, she was helping the front counter. Oh, you don't have to. I just didn't know if y'all was closed or not. Oh, no. She's in there. All right. Well, now that I've bothered you, we actually need a minute. I'm that's sorry. One second. They have the Mexican pizza featured. We got to get, I got to get it. But they, they said they don't have them anymore. What? They don't have the ingredients. Uh, Taco Bell or this location? I don't, every do you, Taco. You do have the Mexican pizza right now? Yeah, they're all sold out. Oh, Lord. They got to be able to make it in there. It's got to be the stuff in there. Look at yeah, all the stuff. Yeah, it's the same it's stuff. It's all in there. It's the same yeah. stuff. Yeah. They don't have it. Okay. They don't have it. Okay, that's yeah. what we're going to do. I know what I want. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to get a... Uh, what, what number did you want? Or what? Oh, you wanted to order something okay. special, mm -hmm. right? I can tell you what to do. Okay, just get me five cheesy roll ups, add beef and tomato. Right. Okay. All right, the first thing I need is five chili, cheesy roll ups, add beef and tomato. That's a Mexican meal. It's off the, it's off the menu. Well, you want a drink? I'll take a medium. Right. Oh, they did it. And then a medium? Pepsi. She's in Pepsi. there. She's good. This looks familiar, but they're trying to figure it out. Figure we just, we just beat them. And then I need a number five with a large Pepsi, because I'm really thirsty. <laughs> and Harry, what the heck do you want? Um, All this time we've been sitting here, he ain't looked at the menu. <laughs> Not once. A Crunch Wrap Supreme, number four. A number four, please. What, yeah, Crunch Wrap Supreme. What drink you want? Um, I'll do a uh, do, 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 do. I guess a mo no a sprite. They don't have Sierra Mist. That works. Thank you for your patience. I'm so sorry. I haven't eaten a Taco Bell in maybe about a year. Really? Yeah. Oh, this. That's it. I forgot they have. Oh, uh, yeah. Just give us a bunch of sauces. Man. 
What's your your go to place as far as fast food? Thank you. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. No. Uh, McDonald's every once in a while because of the kids. I would like to pay for this. Okay. Uh, the kids. Uh, let's see. But I, we go to our favorite spot, Sunset Grill, at home. I wish we had time to hang out with you guys and take y'all to some of our spots. Whoa! I ain't never seen one of these before. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> Is it real? Let's look. They're gonna be Maybe doing like this. <laughs> we already tricked them with the cheat. We got the Mexi Mail. They don't even know what she. She don't know what she made in there. Yeah, you, she doesn't know. She, and then she doesn't know she made a Mexi Mail. You just started something. People um, are gonna see this, and then that's Taco how you, Bell's across the nation. Mm -hmm, that's how you trick them. You see, it takes takes a little while for them to figure it out, but they just made the Mexi Mail, and it's discontinued. They can do the same thing with the Mexican pizza in there. Oh, yeah, same thing. She's looking at me. I think she told on to it. Well, you're gonna have to do some uh, some figuring about the ingredients and say, I want two tostadas. And, yes, and make meat. them crispy, put the meat in it, and put some fire and Diablo sauce on it. Ooh. That's yeah. the thing with these fast food joints. It's a conspiracy. It they is. take stuff away to make you want it more. McRib. McRib, same thing. I add cheese on my McRib. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for 100. All right. Okay, hold on then. Here, take this. Here you go. Sorry about that. That's all right. You should have gave us some free food. We should have just ordered so what more. what is it with the pizza? Why, why is it, 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 it's not like, because we've been to a few ta Taco Bells and they don't have that. The... Every, every Taco Bell, like, Taco has no Taco Bell next to pizza because it was such a high demand. Oh, okay. So somebody's got to actually make the sauce and stuff? Yeah, actually. They got to make it? It's, it's somewhere that it's not, it's being made? Yeah, like in the factory. Well, like, oh, I'm going to go on down and... It's not going to come out until probably next year. That's what, what, are they year? <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing, man? It's a conspiracy. Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> it keeps people wanting more. Yeah. We're just going to stock up so that when they do come back, we can try to keep it up. Right on. Well, thank you, young lady. Yeah, of course. You mm -hmm. should be asking. Thank you. Oh, that was sweet. It's Thank a government you. conspiracy. It is, it is. Just like we're talking about the McRib. Where is it, it at? It's in there. They got it. Thanksgiving. There you go. I never heard of putting cheese on it, though. I do. I, I do that. I'm weird. I'm, 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 I'm weird. I put cheese. You know what? I also, cheese is good on it. Almost everything. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife will not eat it, but I tried to get the kids to eat Sloppy Joe's the other day. I hadn't had one of those in years. You I haven't Sloppy had one in, in years myself. We were at Target, man, and I almost got it. And Ash looked at me and said, I'm not having Sloppy Joe's tonight. Or ever, and then Kingston, my partner in crime, or was, ever. <laughs> was telling me he was gonna have it with me. He decided he backed out too. So I'll probably be eating sloppy joes by myself with cheese. With cheese. Mm -hmm. Just a good old craft single. The, yeah, there you go. <laughs> These two men have cologne on, and I, I'm a cologne gal. You know, I love cologne, so I'm having a hard time concentrating. I smell that one. It's just all in here. I can't. It's called Millionaire. Guess what? I got three dollars and fifty cent in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that hundred dollar bill go? That's in my wallet. Uh, I got so so. You know what? I want to tell you about it. Y'all got to hang out with Chappelle, didn't you? I didn't. Chelsea did. Okay. So I was gonna. Uh, my old uh, bodyguard is actually his bodyguard out there on the road with him, and uh, I was gonna mention to Jake. Uh, to let him know that I was with you guys today and I'll be seeing you tonight and I'm sure he'll say something to Chelsea or say, tell us what's up. Uh, but he's a day's body guard, big tall white guy, blonde hair, beard. Well, Chelsea that, would know. Yeah, I, did, I wasn't anywhere near the building. Oh, uh, I got invited to go see Chappelle and them uh, in Nashville, but I was showing up. If I would have missed them by a day. I had I would already had plans out there. I went to go write a song with my buddy Jimmy Allen, country star. Wow. So yeah. Name so, dropping. Uh, yeah. I uh, do how, does you, how does your writing process go? It just kind of go. It just flows. Man. So like right. So uh, that's a good question. So right now, mm, on the twenty first, uh, the band Seven Dust, the whole band, they'll fly in, and we have a farmhouse. I Me and my family, we have a farmhouse about thirty minutes from our house, and we call it the farmhouse studio. Excuse me. And we'll set up in there. Bring an electric drum, the bass, and the writing process. Right now, you have. Everyone writes in the band and everyone has studios. So you have guys, we have a, a what you call a, a, a box that we put our songs in. And so I'll hear some songs and I'll put melody ideas down or someone else will put melody ideas down. But until we get together, Thank that's you. when the magic happens. That's when, the magic happens. That's when you know, when we're in that oh. room together. Thank you very much. Oh, we need sauces. Is there sauce in there? All of them? Do you have Diablo or no? Yeah, there is. 
You hooked it up. Thank you, honey. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's in here. Thank What's you. What's your name, honey? Summer. Thanks, Summer. Oh, thank, thank you, Summer. Summer. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh. She was just smiling yeah, at you. She knows she's got good energy. She knows. She's, she's like, like what is going, going on? on? Yes. Those, three, those three goofballs. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's the right process, man. So we'll get down and we'll write for like five days together. And then July 11th, the whole band will move to Orlando. Oh and, uh, my God. We'll move into the mansion. Elvis is a, a producer. Uh -huh. And we'll actually uh, start recording pre production. And then we'll write the album there. Oh, is that where you normally like yeah. go? Or this, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. nice. we'll, we live in the house. It's got a pool. Uh, the studio's inside. It's all, it's it, it looks like the haunted sunny. mansion. Oh, wow. But, uh, inside of the studio. Like, it's really cool. Right? Little, Let me look how the sun is. There you go. Let's put this. You got a sunburst on you there. Boop. Let me back it up. Let me back, back that ass up. up. Back it up. I like the way you back that. <laughs> I got asked yesterday at the farmhouse. To back it up? Uh, <laughs> now, we got some cat. We got twenty head of cattle out there, and I got to see some of the workers yesterday. And the kids, uh, I never got to ask them their names before. And I said, "Hey, man, what's your name, buddy? And thanks for you know working so hard. What are you doing?" He's like, "We're just taking eight of them, eight of the cattle, to put them over in the back pasture for you." I was like, "All right, cool." He's like, "Yeah, I heard. Uh, I heard about you." He's like, uh, "Well, I know you, you're in the music business. You're a rapper." And that's when I turned the camera around. I said, "Nope." <laughs> but it was fun. No, I'm not a rapper, but it's cool. Don't get mad at me, but this is not the parking I can choose. This very see how the sunbursts mm -hmm. are shining on you, which is beautiful, makes you look like a little angel. But I'm not, and I'm not so good at driving this large vehicle. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. So I, I feel like I'm on uh, that car karaoke with what's his name i like it uh i know what you're talking about uh, <laughs> that's what it looks like i forgot his the, name. Uh, the late night guy late night guy yeah, yeah. how's that I can't, this is so Look cool good i can't wait to see y'all at the uptown theater uptown funk you up and this is your first time playing uptown yes it's a beautiful venue we've just started doing theaters this oh, round okay cool very cool I it's love a different kind of thing you like it i do but it's you don't get a lot of time in the city that's mm -hmm, the problem right I feel like they cater to the artists more in the theater setting, the backstage areas, and you know, just. What's on y'all's riders? Uh, Jägermeister for me. Maybe some vodka and tequila for other people. Uh, a lot of those health bars, bolognese. Health bars. Sandwiches, sandwich meat. Every once in a while, some hot dogs. A lot of candies. Hot there's, a dogs. there's a definitely a drawer full of candies on our tour bus too, and you know, regular milk and. Gatorades and stuff like that. Our, rider, our riders, there, yeah, because we got people that get up and eat cereal and stuff in the morning. You see that? Diablo, that's the best. That's the best. What is fire. this thing? I like to mix fire and Diablo. Oh, wow. That's something new. Mm -hmm. Now, our rider has Coca Cola and Fanta. That's real? That's it. That's all. That's it. Why? We're simple gals. I'm a simple kind of man. I feel it. I know what this that is. is. That's, that's trick, trickery right there. Trick, that's yours. I want you to have that one. Oh my goodness. I'm you, you think I should turn this air off? The maximo? Yes. You think it's gonna be loud? Uh, I think it'll be fine. You guys can hear us, right? Did I get see I didn't even know what I got. Ooh, what is that? Nacho Bel Grande. I, I never had a Nacho Bel Grande. They're nasty. They don't, <laughs> they don't have the same formula they used to have. They used to have a really nice formula. Somebody's so, gotta help me how with long, this. How long is this tour right. for? Yes. This tour goes till about uh, July, and then we're taking a break, and we're all moving to Nashville. And really, you moving to Nashville? Mm -hmm. I was born and raised in Nashville, Tennessee. That's where my family's at. My whole family's from Jackson, Tennessee. Really? Memphis, Tennessee. No way. We are country. Folk. My my granddaddy is Frank Witherspoon. He's the first black man to desegregate Tennessee Walking Horse shows, and he's in the Tennessee Walking Horse Hall of Fame in Shelbyville. Oh wow! Boom! <laughs> Wow, dude. <laughs> I was that's born in awesome. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, I was that born at awesome. General Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. Like wow. the TV show? Yeah. My brother was born at Vanderbilt, rest his soul. Uh, and uh, my granddaddy still owns a house behind East High School that my aunt will not sell. And everything is building up right there. That's where Oprah Winfrey went to high school with my parents. Like, What's really? Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's dope. dope. Well, yeah. And also, if you speaking about Oprah. I remember, you remember the movie Color Purple? Mm -hmm. And we all knew, growing up, we knew who Oprah Winfrey was, you know, from the radio stations and stuff. And then her also going to school with my mom, my aunts and uncles. 
her name was big, but also around the corner from my grandmama's house it was Mr. Winfrey's Barbershop. And that oh. was Oprah's daddy. And we all knew in the town when Oprah did well because Mr. Winfrey had a canary yellow Mercedes in front of his barbershop. <laughs> Yeah, so you know what I'm talking? So yeah, we yeah. knew that something happened, man. It was like, what in the world's going on around here? Yeah, yeah. Oprah did well. So I'm sorry, it was just a funny story. That's a great. That's dope. I yeah, love that's this. That's Nashville, Tennessee. It's true stuff. I don't get to tell those kind of things, but that's a true story. Since you're going to Nashville, well, we yeah. we uh we heard that it's it's like little LA now. Yeah. So it's uh. It's better than moving to LA. Right, Nash Vegas. They uh, call it. Nashville is beautiful. I, I uh, as being a grown man growing growing up there, I was never able to go over. You know, we would go over to the, the, the kicking part of it. But now, being older and being a touring artist and what we do, it's an amazing town. The energy is incredible, and I think you'll love it. You guys will fit right into. Can't wait. I can't, I can't wait. wait to eat some of this food. Let's, 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 let's do it. So let's all do the Mexi Melt together. Ready? Yes. Let's try that. He, he he came up with the greatest life hack I've ever heard. So, a freaking Mexi Melt. My wife is the one that discovered this. For my birthday, we made them make 40 of these, and they got me this beautiful platter and put on my uh, 48th birthday Taco Bell. That's all I want. Okay, let me get some of this sauce. I'm going to tap it. Tell me if it's like the Maxi Mouth that you remember, or maybe not because we don't, they didn't put the onions in it, but I'm telling you what. I mean, Taco Bell's not Taco Bell if you don't use the sauce. I never it's use all the about sauce. sauce. This so. man could eat eat the hottest pepper in the world. I'm, I'm going to do the, the, the fire with the, the Diablo with the, with the hot. Mm. That's a, that's a Maxi Mouth. Is that it? That's a freaking Maxi Mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we tricked him. I'm not a criminal, but I'm a criminal at Taco Bell when it comes to tricking them to make this. Well, they trick us, right? They have the they pizza up there. They but, got it. You know. So does it taste mm. like the Mexican you remember? Mm. Yes. You're going to do this, right? And here's my thing. Mm. I, earlier today, I was questioning, how was LJ, why was LJ brought into my life? This is why. Because of the Mexican melt? The Mexican melt. <laughs> I love it. I can't believe that I'm in your life and I'm so happy to be here with you. I can't believe that we're friends. Mm -hmm. Just another random friendship. That's what happened with me and Harry. Just a really? random friendship. I feel like here good, we are. You know, good, good people. I'm sorry. You have mutual like mutual vibes. It just. Oh, that's hot. Mm. I think we all meet for a reason. Yeah. And there's a plan. And so that's why we're here. You know. It ain't the Mexican milk, but it ain't the Mexican milk, but it had a little bit to do with it. Yeah. I mean, this is the this is the glue that holds us together. This Mexican milk. You know what? Mm. I had a feeling that we were gonna meet one day. Just weird and random. Not weird. Just mm. random. I wanted to see you. I was so sad that you weren't able to come out to the show in St. Louis. He was he was there, and when you, we was messaging, yeah. and I'm like, he's like, you see if we concert? can still. No, he when was with me. Oh, and, okay. and when I was messaging, and he's like, well, see if they can hang out. Oh, too late. I wish. Have you ever been to that venue? Which that one is it? The factory. It's a new place. We played it. Oh, we did played you love it? it. Did you love it? It was huge. What that about was the... my hometown show, so they blew the roof off of that thing. What What about the thing? Uh, the, the, the Chandelier? The... Did you hear the story about that? Nope. So the guy that built that chandelier, if you know the big festival, the Burning Man, that thing, and they told me, they said that, uh, that piece of artwork cost them $90,000. That's hanging in the factory. That beautiful, it looked like a time machine mm, it spinning. Beautiful. It was great. Yeah, but what a great venue. And I think that was one of the one of the best shows that we had on that tour. I'm sure you had to love that. That was our best. That was the best show for me because the the volume of the screaming, mm -hmm. you'll see tonight. When we come out there, it's like we're the Beatles. I love it. I can't wait. It's crazy. What about that coffee machine in the back that I wanted to take and put on our tour bus? Did you see that in the factory? That one that you put the cup in it? And it made all the cappuccinos and everything. I mean, no. it did all kind of crazy which, stuff. Any, which green room was it in? In it's the big out. green room. The one right on the left, right across from the offices. Anyway. Yeah, that's where they were at. Mm, yeah, okay. Well, it was great. I had a good time there. And also, I went down to the places like Dave and Buster's by myself and did a shot of Jägermeister and had a cold beer before the show by myself. Did anybody bother you? Mm -hmm. A couple people said hello to me. I took a couple pictures, but that was it. It was right before our meet and greet. So, you know, you kind of always mm. walk past somebody. Do you do the meet and greet before or after? Before. Same with you? After. after really? What time? Till the, till the early morn. Really? It starts after the show and then... They cannot wait to meet you. I can't believe I have this time right here with you. This is this is incredible to me. This is really a special day. Yes. And you got a show tonight? You're going to tear it down? 
Mm -hmm. I'm surprised y'all didn't do the Johnny Dare morning show. Boom. Speaking of Johnny Dare, uh -oh. I dare to eat this and not shit my pants. I dare you to eat it and not shit your pants too. But I mean, maybe not shit you your pants. Go, you want to try some of the a little bit of the Diablo, just like a dab. <coughs> All right, we'll come on there. I put a little choke. a little baby dab. Okay. You can't see this, but he's got the fanciest pants on I've ever seen. Who? You. Me? Yeah, those are nice. These apply. things are from 1962. Oh, wow. That's why they're fancy. Oh, oh I, feel I like, have the color. Mm, I feel like that. Let's put it, that's it. All right, Give so Harry knows that this is going to send me into cardiac arrest, but I'm going to try it anyway. It's going to be good. Yeah. Whoa. Sorry. Can't see. <laughs> giving it a sniff. Somebody sitting right there is going to smell like that right there for a minute because I just saw a piece of something fall in a bit. Why, why does it smell like Taco Bell? Right. I, I don't taste nothing. You don't taste, you don't taste nothing? What? Maybe it's a... It's not you a, don't taste yeah. nothing? Let's do this one right here. This, that was a dud. <laughs> All right, it's starting to have a residual effect. It, it's, it, yep. It, it's, it's a, I'm not heat, doing wait a minute, The heat's coming in. Wait a trick. There. Coming in hot. It That's creeps, what's happening. It creeps up on you. That's what that is. <laughs> I'm sweating just right here in the back Ooh. of my... <laughs> Back of my neck is sweating right now. <laughs> now to me, that's not enjoyable. If you're in pain when you're eating, that's well, not enjoyable. It's not enjoyable. If you like heat, I can bring you something that's called near death and death. It's that grinder. <laughs> Let near me tell you. Death and death. death. Let me tell you. All right. So we played the other day at uh, the Truman <laughs> Theater. We never played there here in Kansas. And this place called Grinders, right around the corner, have a big venue outside. It's really cool. Like the dating app Grinder. Mm-hmm. And the chef is really cool, and he, you know he's always up to something, hot sauces and sauce. And so we go down, this is before the meet and greet, and uh, we're sitting there, just me and my drum tech, Eddie, we like to hang out and have a cold beer. And uh, a couple at the end of the bar, they're coming to the meet and greet, they're like, hey, let us buy you guys lunch. I'm like, okay, cool, thank you, you do that. But since you're buying us lunch, they have these wings called near death and death. Why don't we get them and take them back to the, to the bus and see who wants to try them? Because we have these millennial kids that work for us now, and everybody knows everything and I have one guy that's like, yeah, man, I'm in the hot sauce club and I get hot sauce to sit to my house and I knew I, I could take anything. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> well, talk to the young lady, the waitress, and I'm like, hey, we got a show tonight. What, what can I try? She's like, I wouldn't try the near death or the death if you're singing mm. or doing anything. I was like, what? <laughs> She's like, I'll give you a toothpick of the near death. Did this right here. Taste it. I was like, mm-hmm. Kind of did the whole thing. Everything kind of stood up in the back of my head. I was like, that's not something I would enjoy. <laughs> I that said, can horrible. I get a side of the death to take back to the tour bus? All of a sudden, this big old chef comes out from the back, looked like something was weird, he was sweaty. He brought, he said, I heard you wanted the death. And he put it down, it was a little thing about this big, and he'd already, I had my guy say, write down on there, there's death. He's like, it's already written down on it. I don't know why I talk like I was a rush or anything. <laughs> but uh, that's what he made me feel like. So, so as he's putting it down, you could see that the D on it was disappearing already. So that lets oh. you know, this is something. Get no. back to the tour bus. I get on the walkie talk, I'm like, hey, come in here and try this uh, death hot sauce. The kid comes in, he's like, yeah, I got this. I, I said, here, get a chicken wing, you try it like that. He's like, nope, puts his finger about mm -hmm. this much in. Oh. Boom. I'm sitting there looking at us and we're still eating our chicken wings, not touching the death sauce. So even when he took, opened it up, he's, I'm sweating thinking about this, how bad it was. I looked at this kid and uh, his face started changing and he looked at me and he said, I can't feel my hands. <laughs> I can't feel my feet. He can't feel his hands or anything. And he's sitting in the back lounge of the bus. You know, up to a bus, and he's looking. I'm like, run up to the front and get some milk. And as he's running up to the front, you hear him scream in the front lounge and the front door of the bus oh, opened up. Was... And then you see him running as I look out the window inside to the Truman. Ten minutes later, Eddie, uh, the tech that was back there with me, comes in. He's dying laughing. He's like, man, what happened? I was like, what? He said, the only thing that kid said would cool him off. He's butt naked in the shower with his mouth open. <laughs> So, I, 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 I can picture him doing that. He came back freshly washed up and he was still hot and sweaty. He's like, oh, he said, that's the only thing I could think of was to get in the shower. And I said, what did he said? I was sitting there screaming. What he said, he felt like it was over his whole body. So, if you want me to go pick you up some death, no, I'll go right uh -huh. this me, I like spice, but I'm all about flavor. So, I could, I said, I couldn't that's believe it. Yeah, but that night after the show, we did, I paid a hundred dollars. To one of the other kids to do it and sit down in front of us and he he went through it but he did go to the thing where he said i can't feel my hands or my feet so whatever this sauce is it will do that to you and crystal it's so random you, I, don't, you don't like you don't like spice right no like you're, you can't uh, i can't handle it you give me a, a medium salsa and that's too it's, much it's too much for it 
I love spice. I like it. It's too much. I'm sweat. I sweat just thinking about hot stuff. I'm talking about that near death sauce, and I'm like sweating like a hooker in church. Near death or death. Near death or death. I can do the near death. Just don't do death unless you literally probably want to die. Well, that is that poor fellow still alive? Yes, he's alive. He's well. He's doing. He's doing <laughs> he's well. well. He's well. I'm sure he learned his lesson. He's though. doing well. He definitely will not do death again. <laughs> Ever de near death at Grinders here in Kansas City. Oh man, Kansas City is just really a, a bustling town. It, it, you know, it's it's really it's exciting. I live in Overland Park. I wish you would come out that way. Excuse me. It's it's fun town and Next everyone's time. really nice. They all, I think a little few of them are still racist because they think I'm a, a Chiefs football player. I'll probably be the shortest one on the team, but hey, guess what? Running so, back. Yeah, sometimes I'm just like, hey, yeah, I play for him still. I'm 49 years old. <laughs> yeah, but I did, uh, when I first moved here, it was an ongoing joke with Johnny Dare, the radio guy, uh, about me being a Chiefs player, and I was wondering why people were still believing it, and I forgot on one of my Harleys, I call it Thunder Chief, when we moved here, I went for a ride in the neighborhood because I saw one hot, hot air balloon coming down the neighborhood. And still, as a grown man, that's still, you still you want to see a hot it. air balloon. You're going to see this getting ready to go in somebody's backyard. What's going to happen? One. Real, oh, wow. One. Amazing. They're so big, you know. So I'm, I get on my Harley, and I'm, you don't have to have a helmet on. I'm riding around the neighborhood. I can see it's getting ready to go down behind this house. And I pass these kids playing baseball, and I wave to them. You know, my dreads are blowing in the wind, whatever. <laughs> They look at me and I ride past them and I hear them kind of screaming and I'm like, oh, well, they're, getting, they're chasing the balloon with me. And I kind of go back again. They're still chasing me. I'm like, why are they chasing me? And I forgot that my bike had a personalized tag on it. It says Chief. Uh oh. So they thought I was a damn Chiefs player for sure. <laughs> well, I was like, you, yeah. got, you can't make it up. I mean, these kids are chasing me like. Would you get a? Would you ever get on a, a hot air balloon? Or you'd be too no. scared? No. In fact, somebody messaged me and said let's do a mukbang in a hot air balloon and i said no uh -uh. i ain't trying to die i, I would that's right i would get on one <sighs> it's that when they go <sighs> and then flames shoot up that's the part i'm not down with i don't like that open flame i don't like not wearing shoes on an airplane okay because i in my crazy mind i don't have shoes on what if we go down and now i got to get out and run I'm thinking I got a chance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I guess I have shoes on at least. <laughs> That's bad to think that way. Well, <laughs> if you look at those little diagrams, have you ever looked at the diagrams that tell you what to do, you know, on the airplane? Mm -hmm. They're so funny. They're all wearing their shoes. So oh, I yeah. think you're right. Okay, yeah. I just feel like I don't know if that's going to save my life. But, for some but reason, yeah, but if, let's be if, honest. If you're going if, down, that's it. That's it. I don't you know. What's the guy, that one guy made it, uh, the drummer. Uh, what's his name? That's married to the Kardashian. Uh, Travis, Travis Scott, St no. Travis Scott, yeah, right? No, no, no. What's his name? Travis you know, Parker. Barker. Yes, yeah, I know him yeah, from Blue Forty Two. Yeah, he went yeah. down in a plane, crashed oh, in wow. Atlanta, and he actually made it. That's crazy. Look, you still. I'm still showing my. Do it. Do we got to do a thumbnail. We did one, no? Did we? I think we did. We could do another one. We didn't do a thumbnail, did we? Because we were like this. Oh, wait, let's do it then. Oh yeah, you did. You did. We did one, right? Yeah, you did. We were like. We did? I don't know what the thumbnail is. Thumbnail is thumbnail is like, go ahead. Where we pose, mm -hmm. and then I take a picture of it, and I use it, and it's the picture that shows oh, okay. when you click on So you can have your drink. I'm, I'll be like this. <gasps> Ooh. I think I was the thumbnail for that movie I just did. That, that'll work. I don't know how they do it. It just takes a picture of your phone. Okay. I'm so, not technical. Are you uh, are you in the makings for movies yet? No. You should be. What kind of movie? A funny movie. Romance. <laughs> I love romance. Do you love romance? Anything, I'll watch it. <laughs> I love, I'm hoping to be in a romance movie a with rom John Stamos. How old is he now? Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is it the young one or is it the current one? He, he ages well. Yeah, he does. Age well, so yeah, he does. Like, yeah. Man don't well. age. That's for real. What? Yeah, yeah, he's still a good-looking cat, man. I don't know what it is. He's kind of like pickled. He's it's, he's Greek. Is that what it is? Who else is another Greek guy that's, that's just never changed? Julio Iglesias. Wait a minute. Well, no, that's, that's, that's uh. Okay, that's the, I know <laughs> Enrique Iglesias? Yeah. No. His yeah. dad. Oh, okay. His dad, not Enrique. Did oh, okay. you did you oh. know that I am a prolific air drummer? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Do you show? I can't do it without music, and I can't play music because my video gets I can played. feel it coming in the I air know. tonight. Oh, Lord. 
I can feel it coming in the air all night. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh, shit. I remember. I remember. Don't worry, 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 worry. <laughs> uh, but apparently, we our singing was too hot for the iPhone, and it it cut off and said too hot. Uh. Too hot, so too hot, hot lady. I gotta <laughs> run for shelter, gotta run for shade. Alrighty, he just picks up items and makes songs about them. We love it. <laughs> Make a song about this taco right here. Somebody ate that taco and they're not finished with it at all. <laughs> Do you know how to harmonize? Yes. We've been sitting in the swimming pool yesterday for three hours trying to harmonize. So what I, song was it? I can, we just like picked up like, I can harmonize and mm -hmm. she's trying to learn how to harmonize. So right. just go down to the, the, the note lower. That's, so what, that's easier said than done. So I'm just going to have to be okay with, I'm just going to sing a melody. And he's going to have to harmonize it. it. Yes. Because so there I, you go. Yeah, you just lead and then you come in on. Well, let's all try to harmonize. Okay. Okay. So so I'm just going to sing some sustained okay. notes. Mm -hmm. Harmony. That beautiful rendition of whatever song that was. That was just called. Oh. <laughs> this uh, for me has been a beautiful day, and thank you for filling my thank heart. Thank you for coming. Enjoy, Crystal. This is really you. wonderful. And uh, this a pleasure to meet you, man. Likewise. Her, hopefully, this was just Likewise. part one of I, of many. Uh, I, I would hope so, did. and especially in your new venture, I'm always in that place too. So we'll definitely be able to hang out, and you're welcome to my house anytime. Uh, the house or the farmhouse, where y'all can do y'all's craziness, whatever y'all do. Oh, Lord, that. we love to do craziness. Oh, right, so yeah, That's for sure. Well, thank, thank you so you much. So, thanks, both of y'all. Love y'all. Love yous, honey. Peace. Honest.